Good morning everyone. It is me, Miss Hannah. Um, ready to doodle with you this morning. I'm excited. Um, basically, we are going to be making a really cool little cat picture this morning. And I'm going to be walking you through step by step how to make that. Uh, I'm just going to wait for a few minutes for people to hop on. I know that people's schedules are really tough lately. There's been a lot of people writing in saying that they are really sad that they're missing the live sessions in the mornings because they have so much schoolwork to do and there's a lot of Zoom classes now around 10, 30, 11 o'clock so they miss the, the, the live session. Um, hi Sasha in Seymour, hi my little friend, hi Jennifer, hope you guys are doing well, I can't wait to see you um, Sasha in person, I met your mummy and she's lovely. Um, hi to Emerson, hi Meredith, nice to see you Meredith, well not see you but nice to know you're watching. Hi to Lauren, Avery in Middlebury, hi Missy and the girls, hi Lisa, hi Svetlana. Okay, so I'm going to talk for just a couple of minutes before we before we start drawing today. Um, I wanted to just kind of tell you uh, a couple of things. Hi, Lucia. Lucia. <laughs> Hi, Mad. Um, is Madison doing a class today? Okay. First of all, I asked Madison if she because I'm not. I don't want to kind of tell her she has to do it because then it'll become like homework. But I did mention to her today that the kids are missing her. So she did say that she wants to draw with you guys today. So if she does and, and she feels up to it, she's a bit stressed out today with her homework, um, I will have her come on after me. Um, hi, Isabel. Hi, Kayla and Bethel. Hi, Simon Poole in the UK. Hi, Gillian. I hope you had a lovely special weekend. I know it was your birthday. I hope you had a lovely time. Hi, Ashley and Ali. Lila and Seymour. Annabella. Uh, Amelia. Rocco. Caroline, Lisa and Grandma. Hi everybody. It's so cool to have you all hopping on. Hi Leah and Spencer. Um, so a couple of things. Okay, I'll do shout outs again in a minute, but you see my plush here? Guys, we have sold so many plush in the last, um, I don't know, two months especially. But over the last, you know, however long we've had them for, we haven't had them for very long, but um, we've sold dozens and dozens and hundreds, so if you guys have one at home, just send in a picture. I don't know if you've been looking on Facebook or if you follow me on my personal page, but if you don't, you should. Um, some people have been sending in the coolest pictures of the kids with the plush, and there's one family, I believe it's Tara, um, who dress, whose daughter dresses up uh, Harry Hopper every day in a different outfit, and it's really cool, and there's competition, so I'm doing little things to try and get you guys um, to do, you know, be creative outside of the art class, so if you have any pictures, send them in. Um, I did enjoy my weekend, thank you, Annabella. Hi Julianne, hi girls, hi Sarah. Um, okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to draw a simple step-by-step -step picture of this cat that I made. I made it a while ago and I think I even have, when I made it, I did a time-lapse video. So I will post the time-lapse video as well so that the kids can see the painting, the painting part of it. But um, that's if I still have it and I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, if I don't have it, I won't be able to post it, so sorry. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make this really cool cat. It's really simple. I'm going to be using my bigger Sharpie, but I normally wouldn't use this big thick one for something like this. I would use the thin Sharpie, the ultra fine point one. So if you have an ultra fine point Sharpie, this is the one that you should use. It keeps the lines nice and small and, you know, this one is great. The bigger Sharpie is great to show you how to do things. Um, hi, Rachel. Oh, you're replying to Rachel. What time is Maddie coming on? Maddie will probably come on, like, half an hour after me. I'll give her a little break after her homework, um, which she is doing in the kitchen, on the floor, on a blanket in front of the heater because apparently she wants to be near the dogs and that's where the dogs are, so... I did not want an argument today, so that's where she is. Alright guys, so, sorry, you can see my coffee, but I needed it. Hmm. Oh gosh, here we go. We always go through this when 
there's a white blank piece of paper for too long, it loses focus. So let me put this down here. Sorry guys, hang on. Best way to do homework, yes. <laughs> Come on, why isn't it focusing? There we go. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna, I have to put ink right down on this paper or it unfocused for some reason. So I'm just gonna quickly draw out the shape of the cat. So as you can see, in the center of my, it's almost the center, um, you know, you could put your hands down at either side of your paper like this and kind of decide where you want your cat to be. Mine's slightly to the left hand side here, but as you can see, she curves inwards. She's not just sitting up, I'm curving her like she's kind of trying to look around something. Hi Danny and Steve. Emerson has her pet, sna pet snails with her. <laughs> you have to send me a picture. Ah! All right. Sorry guys. So here we go. I'm going to quickly draw this first shape. So we're going to draw a line that comes up to the side like this, okay? Hi Isaac and Michaela. Hi Justine. Okay, so once you've drawn this line, you can see it slightly curves in. And now on this picture, you can see that she has kind of like a little fuzzy face. So you could either do a smooth line or a fuzzy face line, but I'm going to make mine just kind of a little bit fuzzy. Okay, so that's all I've done so far, look. I've just drawn the curved line inwards and a fuzzy face, just like this. So that's why, as you can see, it would, it would look better with a finer marker. Hi, Adu in Milford. I hope you're doing well. Hi, Annie. Hi, Christina Howard. Okay, now we're going to do her ear. So as you can see, the shape of her ear is like a triangle. Stephanie says, Mimi is watching. Yay! You have to send a picture. <laughs> I want to collect pictures, guys, because some of the things I want to do when life returns to somewhat norm normal, I would love to put, I'm going to be putting books together of all the kids' drawings and all the photographs that you send in um, as a way of saying thank you to you guys. So I, I, um, I'm going to be doing lots of really fun, creative things once we get back to the studio. All right, so that line up. And then the like little fluffy line and then a triangle ear now we're gonna move the head over to the other side so can you see here guys you went up to the ear and then we draw a curved line it's not going straight across like this it's curving down so we're going to do a little curve like this and if you're unsure how big it's gonna be the head you could turn it to the side and take a look right like, I think for my picture, my ears are a bit big, but that's okay. You can't get it right every time, right? At least I can't. Okay, now we're going to do the other side of the head. And you can see again, it's a bit fluffy. It kind of mimics the other side. So we're just going to do a little bit of fluff at this side. And, and to be honest, guys, if you want to do that all the way down on your cat, you could. It doesn't have to be a straight line. And sometimes straight lines are kind of intimidating to the kids and adults. So I like to do, um, as you can see, look, mine gets wider over here. It's not accurate. I mean, it's a purple cat with a heart on her. So <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to curve this line down like this. Okay, can you see that? Now you might want to make your cat a bit wider than mine. In my original one, I did make it a bit wider. I'm actually going to draw some bits in, in a Sharpie, guys, because my pen is thick and it's starting to run out too. I have to make a trip to pick up some Sharpies. Okay. Alright, let me talk to you for a second while you're catching up. I know you guys like to watch and then draw. Um... So what can I tell you about this week? We're going to have free classes, and it's just me, guys. You're going to be stuck with me. Um, I'm going to be doing free classes Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Miss Lana's working really hard on her pro class and her gold class uh, for the virtual online lessons, if you want to join that. Um, we're back at... 
last week was a little hectic for us. Oh, I'm glad you're back to drawing, Lydia. Yes, the, the weeks are kind of hit or miss, right? Some weeks are really busy and some weeks are slow, so it's nice to know that you're watching. Okay, so we once can anybody tell me if you've caught up? Are you guys okay for me to draw the next step? Just let me know, guys. It's important to me that I kind of move along with you. I don't want to be too fast. And it's always delayed. It's like, it's usually about 10 seconds delayed. So when I'm speaking to you, you guys don't watch that bit for about 10 seconds after. Can you do the sloth later in the week if possible? Okay, you've caught up. Okay, I'll see if... Oh yes, the sloth painting. Yes. Yes, I absolutely will. You know what? I will do the sloths on Wednesday, Lisa. Please, please remind me. <laughs> I'm going to rate it on my desk. Um, now, so that I don't forget. Okay, you guys are all ready for the next step. Yay! Um, okay, here we go. Now we're going to do... Good morning. Ah, oh, Anushka. Hi, Anushka. I grew up with Anushka in the UK, but she lives in California. Is that right, Anushka? Um, okay. We're going to do the inside of the cat now. So here we go. And guys, to all the moms and you know, or just people who are not children that are doing this, just remember this is therapeutic, it's fun, you do not have to be a kid to draw, you can um, get so much out of this and you can make greeting cards and prints and tap into your creative side. Okay, so as you can see I drew the line for the belly, I don't go too high because I have to leave space for her face, so kind of you know, look at it and look at where you did the fluffy sides and know that this is the area for the face, so don't come up too high. So I came up just below where her face was fluffy, okay? Aw, hi Juliana, I miss you too. What do, <laughs> Leah, what do you want me to say again? What did I say? Can I do the love bear soon? Yes. I'm going to actually only be doing my images, so I'll be doing... You know, all the whimsical pictures, um, the, the, I'll do the sloths on Wednesday, Friday, how about we do Love Bear, um, I'll do all of my pictures over the next few weeks, so who, who knows how long we're going to be here, maybe we can create some new ones together, and um, what is the kitty's name, and does she know Giggles and Harry Hopper and everyone, yes, this is... Who, what should we call her, guys? I haven't given, oh, it is therapeutic for adults, yes. I get you now, okay, all right. So now, inside of your cat's face, as you can see, for a change, I made her eyes big. I usually do those little tiny eyes. So the way I did her eyes here was I chose where I was going to do it, so I drew two big circles. I kind of spread them out a bit further than normal um, on this one. And then inside of that, oh, Anna, I'm glad you like my whimsical drawings. I like it too. It's fun and relaxing. And that's all I ever did when I was a kid. That was what I did in my spare time was I drew and made little books. And um, So while I'm colouring in these eyes, guys, which is basically all I did was make one big circle and then I made a smaller circle... And then inside of the smaller circle, I'm going to colour it in with my black marker, but I'm going to leave a white area. I'm going to tell you a story right now from when I was a kid, how important art was for me. My dad was an editor of a newspaper and a journalist, which I think I've told you before. And he used to take me in sometimes into the offices. And I used to watch the graphic designers at these giant tables back before everything was on a computer. And I used to go into the print room and see the newspapers coming through the machines. It was really, really cool. And um, I really got into drawing from watching my dad draw and from watching the graphic designers in the office. And seeing, um, you know, just seeing people being creative and... So I started a little club and I made a certificate for, my, for people who joined my club. And that was the beginning of me on my journey, I guess, to being an artist and creating the Giggling Pig. So all these things you're doing right now, if you're really into it, 
believe it or not, one thing leads to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And before you know it, you've created something wonderful. Hi, Rachel. I should name my cat Susan. That's a great idea. Okay, she's called Susan. So this is Susan. Can I do R2, D2? Um, hi, Annie. I am not, a, I don't draw things like that, but Miss Ally does. And I think you asked me this before a while ago. Um, I forget... I forget what your name is. Um, let me just find you. Adu. It's Adu, right? I think you asked me this before and I told you Miss Ali would. So I'll have a word with Miss Ali today. Can I draw arms on my cat? Yes, you can. Okay, now we've drawn, we, have we all done our eyes? So remember, if you want your cat to be happy or look surprised or just be kind of, you know, relaxing, then do her eyebrows up. If you want her to not be and you want her to be angry, or moody, then you move her eyebrows, which I've shown you guys this before, and I actually have a pack at the studio, which I will put out today, which is on expression, and it teaches the kids how to change expression on characters. So let's just say we were doing our eyes like this, and we wanted her to be sad. We would turn the eyebrows down like this, but hopefully no one's feeling sad today. If you wanted her to be angry you could do them like this like really cross right so you just by moving the eyebrows you can create a different expression so we're just gonna go with happy I hope you guys are feeling happy all right now we're gonna go to the nose so as you can see there's a space between her nose and up here it isn't up really high sometimes the kids draw the noses really close to the eyes and it looks super cute so there's no wrong way of doing it if you want your eyes to be um you know that your nose to be closer to the eyes then go for it okay i'm gonna put mine about here and it's the shape of a little triangle i don't know if you can see that very well with the point facing down and the two points up at the top so i'm just gonna color that in All right. Sorry, my phone keeps buzzing. Some <laughs> someone loves my song. Oh, you like my giggling pig song? I will play that for you at the end. The giggling pig theme tune and the animation. I'll show it to you guys at the end if you're interested. Let me know in the comments, and I will make sure I play that for you in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna make my cat have a smile. <laughs> Hang on one second. She loves your song. She keeps singing it all the time. Aww, she's ah. Okay, I'm definitely going to play the Giggling Pig theme tune to you guys in just a minute. Okay, at the end, it's a really cool song that I wrote a few years ago, and um, I wrote some music to go with it. And then Miss Lana's daughter played the guitar, and another girl sang it. So I'll play it for you in a minute. Okay, and you like it too? You think I should name her Presley? Aw. All right. Okay, guys, now, eyelashes. I missed my eyelashes off. I'm going to give her just a, three eyelashes at either side of her, on her eyes to the side. And then, remember how I always say we'll do all, this, all those details last? I'm kind of getting carried away right now, so I'm not going to do any more details. I'm going to draw in the tail. So I'm going to follow the shape of the body and I'm going to turn it over and come back. Okay, I'm going to draw it again with you but with the big sharpie now. So I left a space. You could put your finger there if you wanted and I'm just going to draw up in the same direction as the body and then I'm curling it over and coming all the way back. Okay, it's hard to kind of see where it separates when it's when there's no color on here, but basically that's what I did. Can you see it? So it's just the tail going up and around. I'll draw it on here for you. So I followed the shape of the body. I turned it over. So it's kind of like a candy cane. So that's basically what you're doing. You would like to hear the song as well in the animation? Okay, great. Hi Evelyn and Daisy and Monroe, I hope you're having a good morning. It's nice to see you guys on here today. Hi Olga. Um, all right, now all the fun things that I like to do, guys, you know, 
I add my heart, I add all the little um, details like the butterflies and the vines and, and I like to do my willow tree vines which I didn't put on in this picture but this is basically, this is very similar to it here. So let's draw some of these things together. Yours looks like a fox, that's really cool. That's one of the coolest things about art, guys. And, and, and just in life in general, we can all be listening to the same instructions. We can all be watching the same sunset or looking at the, the same exact thing, but nobody sees it the same ever. And nobody will ever tell the story the same either, which is kind of cool. All right, so let's draw in some of our details. I'm going to um, kind of talk to you, organic grass, <laughs> Anushka, I know you made fun of my organic last time, <laughs> you're funny, and uh, um, Anushka, do you still work for Herbalife, because my son does that too, um, I know you used to, at least I think you did, hi Vicky, hi Jennifer, so I'm going to put in some of my vines, <laughs> I want to hear the Giggling Pig theme song. I've never heard it before. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay. How about while I am doodling, I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to play it to you. <clears throat> okay, are you ready? Ready, ready to have your minds totally blown. Are you ready? <laughs> Did you hear that? Isn't it cool? You do still work there and you love the company. Yes, my son loves the company too. I'm going to play the song one more time. We're going to be friends, friends, friends until the end, end, end. And that's the way, way, way it will be. Because best friends stick together through every kind of weather. And that's the kind of friend I want. There you go. I hope you enjoyed listening to the theme tune. But we um, used to play that in summer camp years ago and I have a video, I will post it today, of all the kids singing it and it's what's so cool about it is not just that the kids all memorize the song and they're all singing, but it's cool because all those kids from years ago, I still know most of them, or I, I probably know all of them, or I follow their parents on Facebook or whatever, but I still, I still see them, and to see them all be growing up into wonderful young adults is amazing. It's catchy like the ice cream music. <laughs> that was so sweet. Oh, guys, you're so cool. All right, so let's put some more fancy stuff in here. Um, I'm going to put in some, some leaves. So, um, and, and Anushka, now you're now you've got me talking about Herbalife. Um, my son is working for Herbalife, and he really loves it. He's into health and fitness, and at, and at this time, he's trying to raise money because what he's doing is he wants to um, donate packs of these health packs to the police department in Bridgeport, and. Um, Miss Lana's husband, Mario, is a police officer in Bridgeport and Harrison really wants to go down there and say thank you to all the police officers. So he's raising money to donate these packs that come with like teas and drinks and uh, shakes and energy stuff for the police department. So if anyone's interested in donating a pack or even just donating a few dollars so that he can purchase them all, um, let me know in the comments and I can send you a link. Okay, so, all right, so we're going to put some different leaves and things in. I kind of make stuff up as I go along. I'm going to make like a windy, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be anything. It's just a windy thing, <laughs> a windy thingy. And I usually put lines or dots or hearts on things. Just like this. 
how can we donate money? I'll put a link, guys, to my son's page. Um, you could either purchase a drink for the police department or you could, um, you know, like I said, just donate a couple of dollars. But I, I think there's 40 police officers that are on this one in on this one unit or something. So Harrison really wants to make sure that every police officer gets something. Um, and I'm really proud of him. He's he's going to be 19 in July, and he's definitely got an entrepreneurial spirit, and he's working really hard. So it'd be really cool if if anybody wants to support the police department and support him. Um, I will let you know how. Okay, so those details, guys, that you can add to your cat, you could give her little patterns on her body. I'm just going to put some little stripes down her side. And one of the um, inspirational people that I listen to, guys, I don't know how you start your mornings out, but I like to wake up in the morning and listen to something that inspires me and gets me going. It's the most important time of the day. I like to wake up really early. Um when nobody else is awake and, and, you know, have some peace and quiet and kind of gather my thoughts, especially these days, and kind of think about what my next move is going to be. And one of the people that I love to listen to is Jim Ron, and he worked for Herbalife. He's really, he was a really amazing man. But you guys should look him up if you're looking for some inspiration. He's uh, really cool to listen to. So guys, remember how you do overlapping and under, you know, moving your your things behind or in front of other things. Just try and use some of those skills that you've been developing. Okay? What else could we do? Let's do a leaf that bends. So, if you want to do a leaf, guys, I'm kind of it's frozen on on your side. My side does not does not look frozen. I don't think so. Let me know if anybody else is frozen too. Your son is so nice. We talked to him from the window. <laughs> Harrison has been, I hired him to do some of my deliveries because there was, there's been a lot of driving to do. So he has been driving for me. He is a really good kid or a young man. He's, he's amazing. I'm very proud of him. Um, so can you see I'm going to make this leaf kind of come from behind over here. So you draw your line over your first line like a candy cane. I'll do it again up here like this. And then you're going to do a second line that's going to kind of stop on the top. And then you're going to get this bit and join it up. So now it looks like it's turning. So that's a cool little trick for the kids to learn. They could do lots of those. Um, and that's really it, guys, for today. I'm not going to keep waffling on over here, which means just talking about nothing. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed drawing with you. I love just communicating with you. I love talking to you, reading your comments. Um, I want to show you, before I forget, I wanted to show you the animation, the Giggling Pig animation. I said I would, so I will. Um, it's a... It's basically the a kind of like a snippet of the first book or how the Giggling Pig and Mimi the Duck met Harry Hopper, the frog. Um, Spike was not a part of the Giggling Pig at this point, so he's not in the first video because he's not in the first book. Okay, so I'm going to show it to you. Let me see if I can get it so that you can see it really good. Hang on, I want to make sure it's not... Um, okay, I think you can see it good like this. So here we go. We're gonna be friends, friends, friends until the end, end, end. And that's the way, way, way it will be. Cause best friends stick together through every kind of weather. And that's the kind of friend I want to be. So I hope you like that, guys. Isn't it cute? 
So it's basically the Giggling Pig. You thought we were just an art studio that just paints and draws with you, but we're not. We're so much more than that. We like to teach children about friendship and kindness and accepting people just the way they are and making sure that the kids know that they are perfect just the way they are. You do not need to look a certain way, talk a certain way, act a certain way um, to be wonderful. You're all wonderful and we love you and we miss you. I almost got emotional then. <laughs> um, so keep drawing, keep being creative, keep tuning in. And if you want to support us, just comment, share, just tell your friends about us. And hopefully at some point soon, we will be back in business at the studio where we can greet you all with massive cuddles and, um, and celebrate with you all. So thank you so much. I will come on at six o'clock. And I will still show some fan mail because I think two more pieces came in the mail. Um, Jillian, I think I got another one from you. Um, so I will read that out tonight at 6 and just say hi to you all. I love you. I miss you. And I can't wait to see what you draw today. Bye.